Forest and Domain Functional Levels Forest and Domain Functional Levels provide a way to enable forest and domain level functions in your network environment. There are three forest and four domain levels available. The forest functional levels are Windows 2000, Windows Server 2003 Interim and Windows Server 2003 Native. The domain functional levels are Windows 2000 Mixed, Windows Server 2003 Interim, Windows 2000 Native and Windows Server 2003. Forest functional levels provide a way to enable forest-wide Active Directory features in your network. The first level is Windows 2000. When you first install a Windows 2003 server as a domain controller or upgrade an existing domain controller to Windows Server 2003, it will by default run in Windows 2000 mode. This mode allows the Windows 2003 domain controller to interact with other domain controllers in the forest that are running Windows NT4, Windows 2000 Server or Windows 2003 Server. This table simply shows some of the features that are available depending on which forest functional level you have. The next functional level we are looking at is the Windows 2003 Interim Forest level which allows Windows 2003 domain controllers to interact with domain controllers running Windows NT4 or Windows 2003. This level does not support domain controllers running in Windows 2000. The last functional level we have is the Windows 2003 Native. This level is only available when you have all domain controllers in your forest running Windows Server 2003. I recommend you pause the video on this table and you can see there are quite a few good reasons why you should run Windows 2003 domain controllers at the Windows 2003 forest level, such as the ability to rename domains, improved replication and transitive forest trusts. Now this may of course may not be possible in your environment, but be sure to check out this table to see what you can and can't do depending on your forest level. Now let's move on and take a look at domain functional levels. As I mentioned before, there are four domain functional levels and I'll pause briefly on this table for a moment while we discuss this and allow you to move on to see the next slide which shows a continuation of this table. So pause the video if you'd like to digest the information in the table, but I'll provide a link to Microsoft so you can go and have a further look at the options you have available. Okay, so the first and default domain level is Windows 2000 Mixed. This level enables you to run a Windows 2003 domain controller in conjunction with a Windows NT4, Windows 2000 and other Windows 2003 domain controllers. The Windows 2000 native domain level enables you to run a Windows 2003 domain controller in conjunction with Windows 2000 and other Windows 2003 domain controllers. The 2003 interim level allows a Windows 2003 domain controller to interact with domain controllers running Windows NT4 or Windows 2003. This level does not support domain controllers running Windows 2000. And finally we have the Windows Server 2003 native domain functional level. This level is only available when all of your domain controllers are running Windows Server 2003. Now I'll move on and show the continuation of this table and you can see we have provided a link down the bottom to TechNet where you can view some more information about functional levels. But before we finish up with the theory about functional levels, it's important to remember that once you raise the levels to Windows 2003, then you are no longer able to add any pre-Windows 2003 domain controllers to your domain. You will also no longer have a primary domain controller. Instead, you will now have all domain controllers acting as peers. Finally, any support for Windows 2000 replication will cease to exist as you cannot have Windows 2000 domain controllers. But hey, that's all fine by me. I'd personally much rather have a network of Windows 2003 domain controllers myself. But the reality is that most of you won't have the luxury of building domain controllers from scratch. Instead, it's more likely you'll end up starting in one of the mixed modes and gradually migrating to the more favourable Windows 2003 mode. 